Hello, this is Shadow Templar 591, and here I'm bringing you a new video game. Um, well, not a new one, actually, another remaster. Another remaster of point and click one. Uh, today I am doing. I'm gonna start with uh, Day of the Tentacle. Uh, once again, uh, you know, kind of reiterate what I did at the beginning of the Grim Fandango uh, gameplay. Gameplay, let's play. I've never played this. Um, I know a lot of people like these. I guess this is these games were created by LucasArts and they created a bunch of these. Um, I personally never played any of these just because I was too busy pretty much playing Starcraft on the computer. So I mean, what what else do you need? I mean, Kiki the Grush. I mean, GG. So uh, uh, I won't be. Since I've played a little of Grand Fandango, I'm fairly into that one. Those two are going to be going side by side. Um, just so I don't know if I'm going to do, you know, one one day, then the other the next day. I haven't figured that out. But we'll see how this goes. Um, and yeah, since now I have some some uh, experience with Grand Fandango, this should be kind of interesting. So let's uh, let's start this up and see how this goes. Do you like that? No, that's fine. That's okay, before they got pulled out, bought out and just started licensing everything. Okay. Nice happy fish. I guess that's a robin. And other birds and oh my god, that's a lot of sewage. I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. Take over the world. <laughs> Like I could. Take, Take on the world. Yeah, close enough. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacles mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy so... Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion. So is it another game in this series? I'm guessing this this is this a sequel or something? Uh, so yeah, uh, I guess this must be a sequel. I don't know by the sounds of it. But is this is this normal? Is, is this okay? Like, do tentacle like talking tentacles just exist in this world? Is that just and hamsters and stuff? Like, and I, and. Like, what is going on? I just don't understand. And why are they dumping that much pollution? Like, how much... What are they doing in that house that they are just polluting that much? I gotta say, I, I, I dig the kind of very, like, cartoony style. Um, of artwork, it definitely ages a lot uh, better than the more realistic stuff, I would say in my 
humblest of opinions. So now, now we're not even driving anymore. We're just driving to people's like farmland and stuff. We're just, you know, we just at this point, I guess we don't care. Oh, and I, it looks like we picked up a cow too on the way. I feel like this this game could be like a Saturday cartoon morning like kids TV show. Just the way it acts. And hello, Mr. Cow. Well, Miss Cow. Cows are never. Males, they're always females. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain command HQ here in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Okay, cool. We've got controls. So walk, confirm, move selection. Okay, highly objective. Switch to render mode, confirm. Commentary, open inventory. Okay, basically, the stuff you would ex expect in uh, these kind of games and controls. Uh, that's console controls. Dot controls is that thing? And then this is what, manic action controls? Okay, all right, whatever. Um, so yeah, I like how we have the C standard like architects in this game. We've got the nerdy guy, we've got like the rocker guy, and I don't know if this the girl is supposed to be like the standard like oh man stressed out like school like high school or a college kid, but she looks like she's on drugs. I'm sorry. Looks like a stand for tourist info and ads for local merchants. Can we take that? There's nothing to pick up. Okay. Okay. I'm not leaving this motel Pursuing until I find control. those tentacles. Laverne's covering that okay. territory. It is. I left my little black book at home. Good Swiss bank. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't sure, have a penny. I don't want to carry those people around in my wallet. Bottle of correctional fluid. What is that? Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Okay. It's from George's hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. Of course I do. There's probably nothing interesting in it. Okay. I have three just like it at home. I like how in 
I, I like two things. It's, it's made by Lucas Arts. Obviously, that's Darth Vader on that poster. But the second is that these the point and click games are basically you kleptomaniacs. You basically pick up everything. Good come with a dime stuck on that one. It's stuck to it? the floor. I got an idea. Uh, tch, 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 tch. It's a Is bottle it? of correctional okay. fluid. I don't think that would look better white. Okay. Hey, fun to tell I water. can't touch it, it's spiny. I'd rather not mess with it. It yeah. might be booby trapped. Yeah, good point. Aha! Wait. A secret passage. Mm -hmm. This is all too easy. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? <laughs> Okay, you're free to go. <laughs> thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, because yeah. Now I remember. You know, He's you incredibly can't do evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could Good one insane that. mutant tentacle do? Labrats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops! Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! Marshall. Through the time machine! This is all your fault, what? Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogen! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive! Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? <laughs> of course not! This is the first time I've ever tried it on people! Oh, oh, beautiful. Well, I'll be. Wait, but how did he know Bernard, we were going to go to the right time here, period? So punch you. Like, this must be that Woodstock place mom and dad are <laughs> always talking about. Yeah, I'm telling you, drugs. The pants are druggies. I don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! Right. And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. Uh oh. Nice. <laughs> of course, the rock and roll is surfing down. The old outhouse? Oh, this doesn't hold my friend. Thank <laughs> you. 
Cheap mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented yeah. super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery <laughs> plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie oh plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one. Find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Okay, guys. Well, this is, I think, I where I'm going to end it. Uh, next time, looks like we are going to have to... My guess is... Uh, I saw this in the controls where you can switch between the characters. My guessing is we're going to be eventually able to use like this time machine to send items back and forth and stuff. Which is a really cool, uh, I don't want to say gimmick, but uh, like game mechanic. Let's, I'll say that. Um, so, once again, my name is Shadow Templar 591.